think theater continues to be unique in that it is that truly ephemeral experience. You don't ever see a show like the one that you saw that one time. Uh, so it has that kind of almost um, storybook quality to something that existed once and then kind of flitted off into the night, which I think is very appealing to many of us. So I think theater draws people in who enjoy for the sake of creating, whether or not it runs for a year or a week, you know, whatever that might be, the lifetime of the show is almost not as important as the creation of the work itself. Um, and there's certainly obviously room for commercial theater and there's room for things that run 20 years, et cetera, as well. But I think what draws most people in is the actual, uh, you know, the spinning up of something new um, and really getting to tell something larger than life. I think theater allows itself or lends itself to um, kind of visual metaphor really, really well, which is always exciting to see. I love when other directors, you know, turn a rope into a boat and a house and, a, you know, a box. I love, I love theater that challenges you to look at an object in new ways and uh, look at a group of people in new ways too. I actually heard about them, I think maybe last year, I had a friend who did a production of theirs, The uh, Importance of Being Earnest, uh, I believe it's an LGBTQ version. So he'd done a version of that over there in New York with them. And then they recently reached out when they were uh, looking for a director for this project uh, via basically a word of mouth. So a friend of mine that is a, also another brilliant producer, Elise Dewsbury of NMI had just recommended me to chat with them about this project. Um, I love that they are dedicated to new works. That's something that we definitely have in common. I think that's a really, really great kind of goal overlap that we both believe in new works and want to make sure that there are more developmental workshops and productions and, and basically help new writers and existing writers, you know, continue to pursue, um, you know, bring new works to the stage. And it's been a really lovely process so far. So with Path to Catherine, they reached out, we had some initial calls and it was a pretty quick kind of, you know, bringing, them in, bringing myself into the fold there. And it's been just lovely to work with uh, the two main producers from Write Act, so Tamara and John, um, and a really stellar kind of creative team as well. So Jan Roper and Patricia Zentmeyer as well, the writers of the piece. So I think more creatives, whether they're actors, directors, producers, et cetera, should get involved with Right Act Rep and also Color and Light Theater Ensemble because uh, both of our organizations, again, champion new work. Both of our organizations believe in the importance of developing voices and developing works that um, will hopefully carry forward into generations to come. I think we both believe in a future of new musicals, a future of new works. And it's something that we need to continually um, basically water and seed in, in order to see that flourish going forward. So in order to keep on making um, possibilities for new musicals to happen in the future, we have to make sure we're supporting them in the first place. So I think it's, again, it's so important to support companies like Red Act Rep and Color and Light Theater Ensemble. Um, and, you know, the multitude of theater companies we have here in LA, be just because we have such an incredibly diverse and truly um, I think like nonstop creative theater community here, even during this time, I've been continually impressed by what people have put together, what people have basically come back to the stages with. And we have really underlined and proven that LA is a space for um, new theater artists and new works and new voices. And that's continually uh, so exciting for me to see not only as a director producer, but also as a person who consumes art and is always looking for, you know, interesting and intriguing works. I'm, I'm just so happy to be living in a place that celebrates it.